Hi, I am Roxana from VP Stater. In this video, I will show how to import the San Jose demo in VP Residence team. On this domain, I have installed the team and all the team included plugins. And next, I will show the steps that you need to take before the demo import. First, you will need to activate your license. Here, you need to add your Team Forest username and the license code. I will add my details here. I will check the consent box and press register license. My theme is now activated. The theme supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo SVG icons to be imported along with the demo content, you will need to install the SVG support plugin before importing the demo. I will show how to do that. I will go to plugins. I will click add new. I will look for the SVG support plugin. This is the one. I will click install now. I will activate the plugin and now I can proceed with the demo import. For that I will go to VP Residence Options, Import Demo. Here you'll have all team included demos. You can import any of the available demos. Also, if you already imported a demo and you change your mind, you will need to clear database and after import a new demo. If you will clear database, you need to deactivate the license first. For that you will need to go to VP Residence License and click deactivate license. I will go back to the import section. I will look for the San Jose demo. This is the one. I will click import demo and click continue and import. I will wait for the content to be imported. The process might take a few minutes. The demo content was imported and next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. First, I will save permalinks correctly. For that, I will go to settings, permalinks. Here, I will set permalinks to postname and save. Next, you will need to go to team options and replace the demo settings with your own. I will start with general section. The team options will include many settings. You will need to check each section and add the settings that you want. In general section, you can manage logos for your site. You can manage custom fields and other settings. In social and contact, you can replace the demo details with your own. You can add here your company name, your image and replace the other fields with your business details. You can also set social login, set your social accounts and make other settings. In map section, you need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep OpenStreet or select Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected, then you will need to create and add a Google API key here. Next, you'll have the property page section. Here you can manage settings for your property pages. Next, you'll have the option where you can make settings for the property cards. You will also have an option for settings for agent, agency and developer settings. In design, you can set custom colors and make other design settings. In email management, you can make settings for the notifications that will be sent from your site. Here you can add your logo and also in email content, you can change the emails text. In membership, you can decide on the submission type that you want to choose for your site, you can leave the submission to be free or you can charge users per listing or with membership packages. Here you can manage the fields for the front-end submission page and in the same section you can enable team payments, Stripe, PayPal or WooCommerce. In the search section you have the options to set the team search. You can choose the advanced search type fields and make other settings. In the San Jose demo, the search type 6 will be selected. This means that you will need to manually select the categories that will show as tabs. I will do that now. I will select for rent, for sale and save changes. And next you will need to set the fields that you want to display in the team advanced search. This was just a quick overview. You will need to check each section and add the settings that you want. Next, I will go on front end. You can see that the demo was imported, but you will need to make some manual adjustments. First, you will need to complete the menu settings. I will go back to admin. In this demo, we use the header type 6. The option can be managed here. And this type of header will need to save two menu sections. For that, I will go to appearance menus. I will select the header 6 
menu and I will set it to be the second menu. I will save the changes that I made and now on refresh you will see the menu as it is in our official demo. Next you will have this search. The search was created with the advanced search builder for Elementor and since on import the categories IDs will be different, you will need to make manual adjustment for the search to show as the one in our official demo. Since the search was created with Elementor, I will need to access Elementor editor, so I will click edit with Elementor. I will select the search element. You can see that it was created with search form builder. The multiple tabs is enabled, so I will need to select the categories that will show as tabs. I will select for rent and for sale. I will save the change that I made and I will refresh the page. I will select the search again and this time I will go to form fields. I will open each field and select the category for which the field will show. You can see that the field already shows. I will select the second one and for this I will select for sale and I will save my change. I will go back to front end and refresh the page and now the search will show as the one in the official demo. Going further you'll have this section that will display categories. For each of the category used here you will need to manually upload an image. I will go back to the Elementor editor and show how the section was created. I will scroll to the section. Here we used the VP Residence display category. If no category was imported along with the demo, you will need to manually select here the categories that you want to show. I will select random ones for the elements that do not have. And next I will need to upload images for each category used in each section. I will show how to do that. I will go back to admin. I will find property categories under properties. They are categories type city, neighborhood, county state, features and amenities and property status. I will open neighborhood. To upload an image you will need to edit the category. You will need to press the upload image button. You will have the option to select an image from your device or one from media library. In this case I will select an image from my device. I will click insert into post and update. Now going on home page I will refresh the page and the image for the category that I just uploaded will show. In the page you will have a similar section that will require the same steps. This one here. I will go back to Elementor editor and show how that section was created. For this we used the VP Residence category slider widget. Here you need to select the categories that you want to show in the slider and for each category used here, an image will need to be manually uploaded. I will show this as well. So I will go back to admin. This time I will go to categories and I will follow the same steps to upload an image to a category. I will edit the category. I will press the upload image button. I will select an image from my device. I will insert into post and update. On front end or refresh, I will see the second image that I uploaded. Since the steps are exactly the same, I will add the rest of the images of the record and after show the results. I added all images. Now the page shows as the one in our official demo. You can see the images here as well. These are the steps that you need to take after the demo import. And next I will show some quick guidelines on how to manage the sections in the home page. For that I will go back to the Elementor editor. I have Navigator enabled to have better access to each page section. I will start with the first one which is the header one. Here we added a video video as background. You can replace it with your own by going to style. Here you can replace the video link and you can make other settings. Over the video we added text elements. We used the heading widget to add this one. The same widget was added to add the text here. You can replace it in the title box. And here is the search that was created with the search form builder widget, which I explained how to set. Going further to the next section, you will have a section with details about your business. You can edit the text that was added with the heading widget. This one was added with text editor. You can change the text settings with your own. Next, we added three boxes with image and text. For each image we added 
a new container. The image was set as container background in style section. You can replace it here and the text was added with the heading widget. The same was done for the second box. The image can be replaced in style and the text can be edited with the heading widget. And the same was done for the third box. The image can be changed in style and the same for the text. Going further to the next section, here we created a section with details on the site agent. Here we added an image. For that we added a container and the image was set as a container background. In style section you'll have the option to replace it. In the second container we added text with the heading widget. This text was added with text editor widget. Here we added social elements using the social icons widget from Elementor. And here we added a button with the button widget you'll have the option to change link and make other settings. Next, you'll have the featured neighborhood section that was created with the VP Resident Display Categories widget. I have already explained how to select categories and to manually upload images. You'll have other options available. You can change design and make other settings. Going further, to the next section. Here we created featured properties section. The title can be changed from the heading widget. The text was added with text editor and the list of properties was created with the VP Residence items list widget. You'll have the option to change the number of items per list. Currently the widget is set display as grid. This means that the number of units per row will be calculated based on the values added here. You can disable the option and make settings here or you can keep the grid option. You can also filter the properties that will show in the list by category. Going further, in the next section we added an image. You can change it from style here. We added the first column with text with the heading widget. We added these two elements using the icon box widget. You can change here the details. The same was used for the second element here. And in the same column, we added a container with an image and a video widget. The button for video was added with the VP Residence video player widget. You can change the icon and the video that will play when this button will be pressed. And the image can be changed from the style section of this container. Going further to the next section, here we created a testimonial section. We added here an image. You can change it in style. And for the text we used heading widget. Here we used the testimonial widget and you will have the option to change text image and make other settings. Next you will have the popular category section. Here we use the VP Residence category slider widget. I have already explained how to manage this widget and I will go to the next section. Here we created a section to display our blog post. For that we added the title with the heading widget and the text with text editor to display the blog posts. We use the VP Residence content grid widget. You'll have the option to change the posts displayed and make other settings. Going further to the last section in the page, here we created a section with two columns. In the first one we added an image as background. The image can be changed in style. We made additional settings. We added a color for the overlay and set an opacity. We added text with heading widget and we added a button using the button widget from Elementor. The same was done for the second container. The image is added as container background here and the text is added with the heading widget and the same for the button. This was the last section in the page. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.